Hi everyone, it's Diane. I'm just making sure this week I see my record time is increasing and our volume is working, so I'm good to go this time. I just got to check it a couple times to make sure I don't stop recording. So, how's everyone doing? I hope you're well. I hope the weather's um, not being too traumatic wherever you are. I know it's getting to be that time of the year where it could be doing anything. And actually, the sun just finally came out. Uh, for me, it's 1.30 in the afternoon, and it's been another gray, dreary January day. So I'm happy to see some sunshine out there. The troublemaker is in the house somewhere. I don't know where she's at. And so if she jumps up in the middle of everything, I will have to excuse myself to put her in the hall because, you know, she will just... Knock it all over. She's already done that a couple times. That's why I don't know where she is. I think she got scared when I hollered at her the last time and she took off. That's um, Ella the cat, in case you didn't know that, because you might be a new subscriber. If you are, welcome. Glad to have you. And if you're returning, welcome back. I'm really happy that you come and join me for an afternoon of card making. So we're doing Stampin' A to Z, where I'm trying to use all of my stamp sets that I've acquired over the years. When I was a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I got a lot. I And I haven't even gotten into my other stuff yet. And at the beginning of the alphabet, we're up in the B's still. And up oh, there she is. And we are using Bloom and Grow. I have used this set, thankfully. This isn't one that is brand spanking new, like last week. And this had a coordinating die set. Oh, and she's going to hit the camera cord. I'll be back in a minute, y'all. Um, you're getting heavy. Out in the cap. Huh. Out in the cap. Looks like somewhere else. <laughs> Sorry about that. I knew when I started talking that she would come because she has to be in the middle of everything. Okay, so the um, die set that coordinated with that was Budding Blooms. That was all of these lovely little dies. So, I thought, well, originally, I didn't think this. You know how you look at other cards for inspiration sometimes, and this happens to me all the time. I actually have pulled out um, a, a fun fold that I wanted to do, and I have everything sitting over here because the stamp set that we're using didn't fit in any of the parts that I was going to use on this card. So we'll save this for another day for a different stamp set, but I need a birthday card, like, to put in the mail right now. So... I still wanted to use this beautiful paper. This was the paper I showed you that I got with um, Celebration through Stampin' Up! Light and Airy. I'll tell you, it was really hard for me to cut into any of it. It's pretty stuff. But it's not going to do any good sitting here. So I did cut some of the birdie paper to use the back side, the floral. Yeah. I did it. I cut it. And because I am a very slow colorer <laughs> and I thought that it's been a while since I used my alcohol ink markers, my blends, I wanted to do that today. So because I am a very slow coloring person, I did start already, but I saved some to show you how I use my my blends. I know there, everybody has their own technique. Oh, I forgot I was going to pull out. Oh, this might work. Let's see how little I can make that dot. That'll work. I was just going to use a gold pen to do little berries on there. <sighs> It's kind of big. I'm afraid that I'll go out of the lines with that one and make a mess everywhere because that's what I do. This is the one I think I was looking for. 
and it works. So yeah, it's just my jelly gold jelly pen. So I stamped my image just onto. Um, I used thick white cardstock. Stamped my image using basic gray. You know, a lot of times I want to use a nice crisp black ink and I use the Versifying Claire Nocturne ink because that makes a really nice dark impression but it's gray enough outside. I wanted something that's going to be a little brighter here so uh, I thought since I'm using some pastel colors I didn't really want to have a black outline so I used the gray. You can use whatever you like really. I do not have Boho Blue Stampin' Blends, but I did have Seaside Spray. And when I put this up to the card, you're going to be pretty surprised at how close these are in color. Um, Flirty Flamingo. And I also do not have Garden Green, but I had Call Me Clover. A little darker than garden green but it will do and I had a little strip of 30 flamingo left over so I used that one dye there and I cut out um, it cuts out three little flowers I imagine that's pretty popular uh, before they started getting like all the little blings and gems you probably can't see it on that paper I was thinking you know just to cut out some extra little flowers and put on their would work just as well so that's what we'll do with that since I'm probably gonna um, use dimensionals on the back of that that flower spray so I've taken a boho blue card base oh where's my dimensions because I had to write these all down as I was measuring and then I used flirty flamingo to make this mat at four and one eighth by five and three eighths then the beautiful paper, this is cut to four by five and a quarter. I will jot all these down in the description box. I try to do that when I remember. And then another mat of boho blue that is three and a quarter by four and one half. And the white center where I will stamp my greeting and add our flowers is three and one eighth by four and three eighths and <clears throat> I loved the font of this little stamp that's in the set let's celebrate you and because it is for my girlfriend's birthday I did want to get this um, font on there and it's Saturday and I was thinking I had all the time in the world but you know what the way the postal service is I'll be lucky if this gets there for her birthday so let's continue on with my spray of flowers that I already had stamped and I die cut out with the coordinating die, which by the way, didn't want to cut the first time I had to run it through twice. I don't know what the deal was there. And I've already done um, some of the Flirty Flamingo and two of the uh, Seaside Spray. I need one more Flirty Flamingo on this end. And because these are really tight areas, I don't, I don't have a whole lot of room left here. I've got junk everywhere as usual. I find it easier sometimes just to make little dots when I'm going around some of the other colors because I don't really want it to bleed into that blue. I mean, it's not a large image. So you can use the fine tip like I'm doing and you can use the brush end if you are comfortable with that and feel like you're not gonna smear that ink all over and for anyone who may not have realized or you don't already know and I'm sure it's true. I know it's the true with my, um, what's the other? I have Spectrum Noir markers also. One end has a thin line on it, and one end has a broader line on it. 
That tells you before you even take your cap off, this is the fine point and this is the brush tip. So here's my brush. That way you don't have to open it up and say, oh, I don't want that one, right? You can look at your marker and you know which end you need to use right away. And then we'll use some light and blend that out. I do like how Stampin' Up's markers blend easily just by coloring circles into the darker shade. You kind of get your dark, medium, light. I do use the Spectrum Noir ones sometimes when I need a mid-tone, uh, oftentimes with my Stampin' Up blends. I mean, they're all alcohol markers, it don't matter, right? And um, I'll find something that's in between the two colors that I have, which sometimes just is what I need. Okay, finish off my little leaves here. So I'll tell you what I'm thinking about doing. You have to let me know if you're interested or not. I, um, you know, I've mentioned before that I also like to make journals. Uh, I would call them junk journals, but I don't want anyone to get mad at me and say, no, they're not really junk journals because you're not using just junk scraps of paper. Because I use whatever I could find. And I do use... scrapbook paper, or even little bits of my designer series paper that I have left over. And um, I will use digital downloads from some of my favorite journaling artists when they create them. So, oh, and I'll use Daffodil Delight. I'm just going to use a marker because I only want, and this is the same thing. It has the narrow stripe and the broader stripe. And I just need to add some center to my flowers. So I don't need a whole big to do here. So anyways, one of my favorite journalers that I watch, and I get a lot of card ideas from these ladies as well, and gentlemen, sorry. Yep, I do have a couple gentlemen journalers that are wonderful. Um, Tracy Fox at Love Junk Journals. She was doing a video and it was going to be her 50th birthday and she was almost at 50,000 subscribers and she did a giveaway. And by default, I think it was like the fourth try, I, I ended up winning. And I'm going to use my gold pen and do these little berries on the end in gold. Just because I like it. So, anyway, the prize pack was marvelous. So, for the other three people who never claimed the prize off of her, I'm sorry you missed out. because Oh, I missed a leaf because it's really a nice giveaway. But it included, along with a journal from Tracy that I don't, I don't have yet. She's in the UK, so I will share all that. If anybody's interested in this journaling that I'm talking about. Um, a journal and some papers that she had. And um, oh, a box from Taperology with journaling supplies. And four digital downloads of my choice from another designer. So I picked my digital downloads, and I just got those. I downloaded them the other day, and um, I had to change the ink in my printer here before I start printing them. But I was thinking maybe I should share that journal on my YouTube channel. I know when I did, um, I did a boho journal several years ago, 
and really not a lot of interest. It really wasn't. So I really didn't share any more journaling on there, on my channel. But I thought if anybody, maybe the newer people who are joining me now, I can always put in the description box that it's going to be a journal day. And then if you don't want to watch the video, that's okay. My feelings won't be hurt. But if you do want to watch the journal video, then you would know that that was it. And you would be able to see this, some of the um, beautiful artwork that was included in this prize. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to do Let's Celebrate You in Boho Blue. Because I do have that ink in there. Okay, I thought I had it out. I'm going to do this on a scrap paper first because I'm going to make sure. Oh, that's an envelope. Scrappy paper. And I'm going to clean that because it's a little bit splotchy. That could be uh did I bring up I brought a roll of paper towels up that's not one of the pick your size ones. I like to be able to pick my size because I only use little bits anyway. Well, let's get my stamp cleaner. Oh, oh that's blue. And this is an older set, so it could be a little bit weird from being used and not being conditioned or anything. This is this is the old stamp, and I don't know if they still have this or not. I usually put this in my my little foam cleaners. Let's give that a second to dry and see if this stamps any better. But it was um, Stampin' Mist, rubber stamp cleaner. Refill. This is the refill bottle. And it does help condition them a little bit. So hopefully, hopefully this is going to stamp pretty because I like this one. That was my whole point here. Better. I'm glad I did it on scrap paper first. Can tell the sun's out. I'm hearing dogs. I'm surprised somebody's not out there with their tractor already. Well, it's still a little splotchy. I think I'm going to do one more on the other side and see if it comes out better. I hope it's not my ink pad. Oh, I should try a different piece of paper. No, but this is my basic white. I guess that's what it's going to be. My gray didn't do that. I'm cutting a new a new piece. What did I say? This is three and an eighth by four and three eighths. Barely have room. I 
and I'm, and I'm sure I cut this out of my um, basic white. So I don't know what the scoop is here, but we're going to just double check and make sure that it's not the paper. better than the first one. I'll take it. I'll take it. Could just be because it is an older set that it isn't quite as crisp stamping as newer ones. Okay, so now we can put our little card together. And I have to find a, a birthday sentiment for the inside here that I want to do because I do have to get this in the mail. Oh, tape, tape, tape. Hold on. These people who have birthdays at the beginning of the month, you know, you turn the calendar, it's like, oh, no. That's me, though. My birthday's at the beginning of the month, too. And yes, I have had a birthday where everybody forgot. I'm just going to center each one of these panels onto the next layer. Yeah, so if you if you are so inclined, please let me know in the comments there if if you're interested in making a journal. Um I think what I will probably make it out of will be an Amazon envelope. So if you've got an Amazon envelope, you're already halfway there. No, not halfway. <laughs> it's a start. And I'm thinking about uh, the one kit that I got is a retro picnic kit. And... Um, I actually have some old Dick and Jane books from school. Not from high school. Well, one of them actually was my brother's when he was in school with Nintendo. And I am going to... Oh, it goes off the end a little bit. Um, and I've already made some tags and stuff out of that for other projects and challenges that I was participating in. So those are sort of waiting for me <laughs> to decide to do something with them. And how's that going to fit in the envelope if it hangs off just a tad? Turn it sideways. Let's see. Come here. I have an envelope right there. Ooh. Oh, there's a card kit in it. <laughs> Not anymore. It's all over. Oh, I think it'll make it. Okay. Good. Oh, yeah. That was a cute card that we did. Okay. So let's get some stamp and dimensional. Oh, no. Did I whew, hit a cord? Uh, my camera cord is real touchy, and 
I have accidentally disconnected the camera just by touching the cord before. So that's that's the one reason that I don't really want Ella up here too much because if she bumps that cord, then I gotta start all over again. And like we experienced last week, that's not always fun. And I also have my house plants up in my craft room for the cold weather and she likes to get in there and eat them. And we know that's not always good for animals to do. I would really hate for her to get sick just because she was up playing the craft room. And I would use one of my pokey tools here. But I have everything already in the baskets to go for a card class. Which I'm a little disappointed. There's not a whole lot of people signed up for this card class. There was so much interest when they first scheduled it. And then when I um, checked in to see how many people I need to have card stuff for, there's not a whole lot. I'm, I don't know. Don't know what the deal is. Yeah. I mean, I know it's hard when you're working and if you have small kids and trust me, been there, done that, missed out on some fun stuff, but my family was first and I had a job. So, and when my children were small, I worked afternoons so that my husband and I could switch back and forth and have one of us here with the boys all the time. Well, Pretty much most of the time. My mother-in-law helped out a lot. My mom, when she could. My mom worked too, though. Let's see, I think. I, maybe I won't get to use my little things here, huh? Depending on where I put this. What is that little... Oh, whew, came off, whatever it was. Thank goodness. Trying to pick these up. Oh, and there's more. Do I have something on me? I know I have a boo-boo. No, it's not split open again. So maybe I don't want those. Maybe I just want to use some more of these rainbow adhesive back dots that I love. I am in love with these. They look like candy. They're wonderful. Because... I'm pretty sure that's Flirty Flamingo there. I'm pretty sure. I don't give me a hard time about picking up because I don't have a... <laughs> it attacked me. Ouch, ouch, it's biting me. Um, I have a pin here. I don't have my my pokey tools. Yeah, there's another big one. I think I want to use the small one. <laughs> Does she know what she's doing? Mm -mm. Nope, just playing. Just playing with my little backings. And what am I going to put on my inside? Well, I'm at a half an hour, so. I don't like my videos to get too long because I know myself. I, I like I said, I have a couple of favorite um, YouTube creators that I like to watch. And some of them, when, they're, when their videos are like an hour and a half long, I don't have an hour and a half. I wish I did. I don't. Um, what did I say I was looking for? Oh, my inside. Yeah, so a lot of times I will just put their video on while I'm making dinner or something. And um, try to follow along while I'm cooking. Oh, I want it's a happy birthday. I want one that says happy birthday. 
shouldn't be so hard, right? There's like 300 stamps up here. There we go. She moves away. Put my candy dots away. I have to quit calling them that because they're not candy dots. Somebody will see this and say, oh, my kid ate some of those dots because you said they were candy. But I always put on here that my videos aren't meant for children. And because of using, you know, we use the heat gun and alcohol markers and pokey tools and cutting blades and things like that. So, yeah, not really for kids. What are we doing here? Okay. Oh, I need a piece of white for my inside. And yes, I do keep those little pieces of paper because they come in very handy. Four by five and a quarter. It'll work. Um, if you have to stamp a greeting for a front, like that. Those are perfect. I'll just add those little fleurs to my dish and I'll put them in with my die cuts. Oh, this was, this is a set that we used not too long ago, Birthday Blooms. It was one of those with the yucky backs. my fingers. See that one stamped a little bit neater than the than the bloom and grow one. I wonder if it's just because that stamp was older and that photopolymer. I don't know. I don't know. So I thank you for stopping by today and helping me make a Hard that I need here right away. Ooh, I'm hitting my hair clip on the light up there. That's what that weird noise is. Yay! We did it! I can get it in the mail and hopefully it'll get to her in time. So thanks for joining me. Come back again next week. Like I said, if you are interested in uh, making a journal, let me know. And I will be sure to add that to some of the videos that are coming up. Everybody take care. Have a wonderful weekend. And I will see you next week. Bye.